guy. I'm crazy. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm crazy. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katana Prokosh. I am the owner and designer of Battleborn Bikinis and those would be competition suits. My cozy fuzzy Sherpa here. It is so chilly here in Reno. We got freezing temperatures. We've got snow on the ground and um, I'm not ready for it. I don't like it. Of some other exciting news. Um, this building that I'm in, um, so <laughs> to clear the air, I have two units. One is a retail shop that I got this summer in June. And the second one is this location I've been in now two years coming up December 17th. Um, today is November 12th. And my birthday was yesterday, so say a little happy birthday. Um, so this place that I'm in now, I've been in almost two years, December 17th, and my lease is up February 1st. So they had given me two months rent free. Um, so I moved in December 17th, but, um, lease is up February and I haven't decided if I wanted to keep this, you're going to focus on me, if I was going to keep this location or not. Um, we've just grown out of it. It is only 875 square feet with six offices, which you put six offices in, in I mean, it's like a hundred, a hundred square foot offices. They're tiny. Um, and the issue I was having is space wise, but because there's so many offices, I can't really rearrange. Like there's not many options to expand spaces or like rearrange. They're all the same size. Um, I needed a larger area for my rhinestone machine and it moved to the front room. I haven't even had time to play with it because it came down to, I want a new flooring in here. You guys, it's a domino effect and I, I do this every year. I want a new flooring in here because I hate the carpet. The carpet doesn't work with sewing uh, materials on the floor, fabric and thread. You lose rhinestones in it, it's horrible. So I was going to do hardwood floor. I had um, Home Depot come out and do a quote, um, charged me 50 bucks for a quote. And then a few days later, they came back and said that they don't work on commercial units. So they had to refund me because that was dumb. Waste of my time and their employees time. Like, I don't, I don't even understand why they would even come out and do the quote. They knew it was a commercial unit. So anyway, back to square one. If I was going to do the flooring in here, get another quote, what the heck I was going to do. I, at one point, bought three boxes of flooring, cheap sticky tile, because I just was going to do it myself. Um, when? I don't know. So then I try to find a handyman. And in between all this, I'm thinking, if I'm going to spend that much money on a rental that I have to renew the lease for, and I'm already running out of space, I want to change the flooring and all this other jazz. Um, why don't I look for another space? <laughs> it's what I'm great at, right? I'm great at moving around. So this would be my fourth place that I'm going to be moving to. Um, uh, cause I found a place. Um, I actually looked at it in the beginning of the year when I was looking for my retail location, but it wasn't set up for retail. It is kind of a flex office space industrial, uh, almost exactly what I'm in now here. And it's just bigger. It is three times the size of this place. So it is like 2000 square feet. I'm so excited. It's 1840, I believe square feet. So, and it's super open. It has like an open bullpen, which just means open conference area usually. And then it has like three offices in the back. Um, it ha it comes with fitting rooms already. So I think it was a dance studio before. Um, completely perfect. It's only like half a mile from here at this location. So I'm not changing areas, um, much distance from my home and stuff. But the other exciting part is it came with carpet. So, um, my whole idea was to find a place that was move in ready. Um, I did that with my retail shop. It was moving ready, everything. I just needed to paint, which you guys saw that video. Um, I just needed to paint. So this new place, I have to do flooring. So um, back to square one with flooring. And I've had to go all over the place to look for somebody who can do 
just a consult or a quote on a commercial unit. And then, of course, it takes a few days and then you're backed up. So my best friend Tiffany is a realtor. And so she's going to send in the letter of intent. That is what you intend to ask for when you want to lease the property and anything you want to include. Uh, so I want to include changes, which is the flooring. I want to add new vanities and paint. And you need to include that in your letter of intent when you ask for a rental agreement. Um, I'm also asking for a lower price than what they're asking in a five year lease because mama boss here is stepping up. I have had, so this is my fourth place, but my first place I had for two years, this place I've had for two years, and the one I signed on Gentry signed for three years. So that was like extremely bold and very, um, it's just nerve wracking, not knowing the economy, what's going to happen. And I opened that place during a pandemic. So super ballsy of me signing a three year lease. So this time I decided maybe I'll sign a three year lease, but if I could get a lower lease rate or a monthly rate, I would sign a five year knowing that I've already been in business for this long. Why do I keep signing two year leases and moving every two years? First off, it's a very easy growth rate. Uh, two years, it actually goes by extremely fast, but we put in a lot of work and we put in a lot of effort in these buildings that after two years, you're like, oh, I did all that work and now I'm moving. Um, they could probably now rent it out for a lot more, so lucky them, <laughs> but it's just a lot of work, the investment that you're putting in that you don't, you probably aren't going to see a return on because you're renting. So leasing it for a longer period of time, I'm going to get actual use out of what I put into it. Um, second thing, like I said, growth every two years, you can at least reevaluate your business and know that you are growing at a steady rate. Um, at the time, two years was even nerve wracking, but nobody's going to lease. Usually it's really hard to find somebody that's going to lease to you six months to a year because that's a lot of work on everyone's part. Plus they know that they'll just find somebody else. You're replaceable. So they'll just find somebody else that's willing to pay what they want and the time frame that they want to sign the lease for. So to make this a little bit shorter, although I want to, you know, let the business people that are watching out there know these are the things you have to think of when you go into business because all of that side I hide and it's like the ugly side of it and I never want to talk about it um, but it is it's the side that that's what makes your business actually flourish and grow is if you do all these right steps in the back office in the back of you know behind the scenes that nobody else gets to see they just get to see your success and they get to see how wonderful you've done um, but they don't actually realize the sleepless nights and how late you stay up in the day to day that you're actually, you know, hustling. So this new place, I'll have to take you by it. Um, yeah, take you by it. And I'm sending in my letter of intent today. I went shopping for flooring, found, I think somebody who would like to use somebody local, like stay local, um, a little like mom and pop or even just a handyman or a carpenter that's licensed would be um, pretty cool just to use for this flooring project. Um, but I don't have contacts, so I posted out on Facebook for some contacts of that sort to see who I can get to do my flooring ASAP because um, I'm gonna ask for two months free rent, move in in January because my lease is up here in February. Um, but when you ask for that two months free rent, that is usually for your tenant improvements for you to move in. And if you think about it, it's right over the holidays. So we're mid-November and December, January, I have to move. And I have to find somebody to install flooring and it's just a lot of hassle. So the faster I can get somebody in there, the more benefit it is to me um, in the end. Plus I'm helping somebody small business out. Um, however, I redid this fabric wall in my hallway because I was running out of space in this office. So this is my other fabric wall <laughs> and this is the new fabric wall. So we have all of these two, we got the bathroom, storage, um, where am I at right here? 
this goes into my sewing room what my nail studio and the shipping and rhinestone and they're just small little offices can't do anything with any of them this is the largest room and that's where my rhinestone machine is um so we were in the process of moving everything moving the rhinestones up to this room um making the rhinestone room storage and then like just kind of like moving rooms around um this is the you know the nasty flooring um it's i mean it's fine it, it whatever it is what it is um we put this flooring in up here and the flooring in the fitting room um but all this up here is from my booths that i had the last few months and i have no storage space to put those so the new place will have storage and the new place will have so much extra. I can't wait to show you guys the new space. <sighs> Okay, we're at the location, the new location. It is right over here. I'm just waiting for this car to leave so I don't look like a weirdo. Um, yeah, so it's about the same type of complex. It has a second story on it. So the only downside is we have a church above us, which is so hilarious because the location I'm at now, I have a church next door to me. Since the pandemic though, they have not been in service. So fortunately for me, it's not an issue. It's usually not an issue anyway because the church is on Sundays. I don't work Sundays. Um, so that helps with parking as well. So we're not fighting over parking. So as you can see here, they have their sign above because they were in this spot. So we have to ask them to move their sign up. And it is this sweet and this sweet so it is both sweets so this is inside here's through the other window so it's quite large with an open area and two bathrooms So I'll post up some pictures and like a little virtual tour thing um, because I was inside of it. We had my realtor, which is my best friend, and I had my two employees, my husband, and then the other two leasing agents. So I didn't want to film while I was inside and pretend like I was a cool YouTuber, you guys. <laughs> so um, I skipped that step. So that's what you get for now. Um, but I'm super excited um, for sending in this letter of intent tonight and going from there. And I will show you guys so far the flooring I had picked out. Don't look at my nails. Um, really cute flooring. It is called Sea Salt Hickory, which is a pretty cute name. Sea Salt Hickory. It's from Lowe's. Um, so again, I'm just getting a quote from them with that flooring. It was like the cheapest and the color I wanted, which was about a dollar, I would say a dollar 89 square foot or something, which you do the math on that for 1,835 square feet. So, um, and give and take because you're going to need more boxes because of corners cut and I don't know. So I'm going to get a few more quotes and we're going to go from there. Um, why do I do that to myself? Okay. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked to get more space. Um, I'm just so excited that we can grow during a pandemic and so fortunate that we are able to grow the business during a pandemic because a lot of other people aren't as fortunate. So um, love our swimwear. Love me in a swimsuit and everybody's bikini body and take care. Love you.